to Fort Myers, everybody, and we'll talk about the Red Sox and their full team showing up for the first time today and talk to Nomar, but first it's Marty McSorley time. He was put in the penalty box by the National Hockey League for the rest of this season, including the playoffs, as everyone expected. This is the stiffest penalty ever handed down by the National Hockey League. 23 regular games remaining in the season and any playoffs, but that's a pipe dream right now. He'll also lose $72,000 in salary. That was a little tough to take, I'm sure. Gary Tangway was live in New York when the hearing took place. Gary? Thank you, Bob. You know, Marty McSorley was not here today, but Mike O'Connell of the Bruins was. You know, and I asked Mike, I said, listen, does this guy have a shot of wearing a Bruins sweater again? And he just, you know, rolled his eyes and shook his head. He doesn't really know. But we all know that the chances are doubtful. He's gone for the rest of the year and the playoffs. McSorley does want to play again next season but in order to play again next season he's going to have to meet with Bettman and company at the beginning of next year but because of that ugly slash Monday night to the head of Donald Brashear he's gone for the rest of the year I mean this thing was just ugly even after the game Marty said I couldn't believe that I did it and the action handed down by the league today is just an example of how the league is trying to clean this stuff up I, I think we've uh, we, we, we've last year I think that uh, the, the amount of concussions in, in, in the game of hockey were, were, were increasing at a, an alarming rate and for a number of reasons. Uh, uh, we've gone over that before several times and uh, uh, one reason is we thought that sticks were being carried too high, elbows were being, being carried too high, there was hits from behind and uh, we made a uh, real uh, uh, attempt last year and we did lower it and they've been down this year, blows to the head, stick infractions and uh, I don't think this represents what's happened this year at all. Unfortunately, it'll get the play that, that it is, and uh, uh, you see the gathering here today, but uh, we've had, uh, uh, quit, we've had a fairly uh, uh, lean year, and I think it's, it's been good for the game, and I think the players have been getting the message. Unfortunately, uh, uh, an ugly incident like this took place, and uh, even uh, Marty McSorley apologized for it the other night, and he didn't understand why, why he did it. Now, the reason McSorley wasn't here is because, well, it's not because he's a coward. His legal team has said, you know, you really should stay at home in Boston because you may be facing criminal charges in Vancouver. O'Connell said, well, I don't care about that. He should have been here. The team also supports the suspension wholeheartedly by the league. That's all in New York City. I'm Gary Tangway, WBC4 Sports. Let's go back to the fun at Bob LaBelle in Florida. Bob? All right, Gary, we're all for that. You can count. He will not be wearing a Bruins uniform again. That's for sure. All right, the Sox brought in Gary Gaetti today, 41-year-old for a look-see, no contract. They just want to see if he's still got anything left, and then maybe they'll make